Landscape photography for me is all about the conditions. And we've not got great conditions this morning. I was up at the right time, pre-dawn, scoped the place out, waiting for some dawn colour, never came. Waiting for the first rays of light, that never came. By the look of the sky, we're not gonna get any colour. But that's fine, that's okay. You've gotta make the best of what you're given. This is a little place called Plymouthton on the Kapiti Coast near Wellington, New Zealand. I was in Wellington yesterday, uh, flying visit, my son's playing cricket again. So I went down there, watched a bit of cricket, took the Olympus SP35 out, loaded a roll of HP5 and uh, shot some street photography around Wellington City. Absolutely, I had, I had a ball. I just, I'm just really back into street photography. It's always been my go-to and uh, I, I find that street photography is it's a confidence thing. If you're feeling good, you'll get pictures. If you're feeling timid and feeling a little bit sort of not on your game, you'll come back with all of the crap. And yesterday, I was feeling good, and I, I, I think I think I've got some nice shots. That's for a, another video. I don't know if that's going to come out before this or after this. Probably before this. So if it comes out before this, then I'll put a link up there to the video, and you'll you'll work it out. Anyway. So on the way back, we, we stayed the night in, in Plymouthton, which is about maybe 40 minutes drive from Wellington, and came to this place because I've, I've shot this a couple of times before. It's a little place off the coast called Manor Island, and it's just absolutely, it's just beautiful. You get the right conditions, it's fantastic. You've got all these rocks that sort of lead out, they've got leading lines that lead out into the, uh, towards the right area, towards the island, and it just works a treat. Unfortunately, it's not happening today. I've probably got about, morning, how you doing mate? I've probably got about. <clears throat> so, and another thing, I've, another thing I've just been doing, I've dug out my old Bronica ETRSI. I've got a 50 millimeter lens on here. Now that's equivalent to roughly about 35, 30, 30 millimeters, something like that, on 35 mil format. And it, it's Gorgeous. It's a lovely landscape lens. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, waist level finder, obviously, and uh, I've put a roll on this occasion. I've put a roll of Lomography 800 color film in there. Never used Lomography before, uh, but I'm assured by the camera retailer that it's very similar to Kodak. It's, it's Kodak in everything but name, apparently, uh, and it's a bit cheaper than Kodak. Hey, everybody's a winner, apart from Kodak, although. They will sell this stuff, I guess, from different brands. So, yeah, they're making. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. So, basically, that's it. We're just waiting, waiting, waiting. I, don't you shit on me. I don't know if we're going to get any light, any usable, fantastic light on Manor Island. I'm looking at the sky, I really don't think we're going to do. But what I'm sure of, we're, we're going to get a nice couple of shots anyway. And even though it's a colour film, it's a shame. But I might convert them, I might convert it to black and white just that sort of that sort of morning but if we had some light these rocks in the foreground here they'd be glowing orange Manor Island would be glowing the ocean would be glowing ah oh, it'd be beautiful moody clouds behind it's got the makings of a really really nice photograph without light it's still going to be nice but I just I, you know I, I was I was awake half of the night last night just thinking oh I was buzzing for this thinking come on we're going to get some cracking light anyway Let's crack on. So, like I say, uh, settings at the moment, I've just got a handheld meter, my little Sakonic, and just checking the light readings, and at the minute, ISO 800, F11, eighth of a second. So I'm just checking the readings at the minute, and uh, just waiting, waiting, waiting for the, uh, for the moment to click the shutter. And that's the thing as well, with digital you can rattle off shots, See what the conditions are. Film, you really can't. I've got 15, 15 frames on this roll. I've used four. And I don't think I've got much out of them so far. The conditions are starting to change now. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, listen, thanks for sticking with this. And uh, hopefully we get a nice little bit of, uh, hopefully we get a nice photograph to show at the end of it.